Howdy folks, Gavin here. Um, currently I am planning um, something because we are um, kind of in a quiet spot right now and it's looking to be quiet for the next uh, couple of days here. So I'm, I figured out something I want to do for a video. And uh, let me show you guys here. This is what we're going to go see today. This is the downburst wind damage from the storms on Friday, July 19th. Uh, you can see here, it'll focus in 90 mile per hour winds, 80 mile per hour winds. And uh, they had some pictures on uh, the National Weather Service website and they just, I mean, they just looked devastating. So I'll show you guys those here. There's that one. And then there's that one. But yeah, we're going to be going and checking it out today. So I'm going to drive down there right now. I kind of want to spend an hour. Um, luckily for me, it looks like there's plenty of uh, public land out there. So we'll be able to get in and walk around and check out some tree damage and stuff. Uh, it'll be quite interesting to see what uh, this macro burst did to these. Uh, trees because I I'm I'm really excited. This is almost as more exciting than uh the actual chased. The actual chase, not chased. I just called it a chase. I feel like an idiot. But anyway we're gonna be going up to we'll be going up to there's a spot called Pelican Lake. Kinda where the macro burst started. And then we'll be heading down south on what was it? If I can find the um, the road south on 55, it actually is southeast, but we'll be going through there, and that should be and it should be a blast. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, Gavin back here. We're currently entering the first part of the macro burst. This had uh. 70 mile per hour winds you can see all of the trees down and holy smokes there is a lot you can see along the side of the highway here the trees most of the trees are bent I just figured I'd show you guys where I'm at look there's more down oh my god this is a lot worse than I thought it'd be Lots of trees uprooted. That was the Ice Age Trail. I might turn around and go have a look at that. Oh my gosh, because this is, this is bad. Holy smokes. I'll have a look at that on my way back. But you can see here, look at this. Oh my God. That is freaking bad. Suppose they'll be starting some salvage sim timber sales here soon. Uh, we're not even in the. This isn't even the 80 mile per hour wind gusts. This is just the 70, maybe even 60. But, jeez. I mean, this is worse than a tornado. Worse than a tornado. That's the type of damage we're seeing here. Look at that. My right here. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. This is way worse than I thought it'd be. I saw, I mean, I, I saw images. I knew it would be bad, but I didn't think it'd be anywhere near this bad. And this is, this is freaking bad. Langland County Forest. I wonder if we can stop here. If, if I find a parking spot, I'm gonna stop here. Oh my gosh, look at my right here.
this isn't even the worst of it. I can't even believe what it's gonna be like up towards the highest winded areas. I mean, this has gotta be at least 80 mile per hour winds to cause this kind of damage here. Every tree is mangled in some way. It's either, if, if it's not bent up, it's torn down. If it's not torn down, it's uprooted. I mean, there's just nothing left. This entire county forest is gone. God, Mother Nature has a, I mean, it just has a way of. Every single tree is now gonna be bent here. You can see the tops of those are bent. But they're already starting salvage timber sales, so it's a good thing I came out here when I did because had I waited a, a little more, I might not see all the damage that I could. I just wanted to get out here to be able to see it. Look at this one, arcing right over the trail. It's basically like a widespread EF1 tornado. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I mean, it's just a downburst of winds, but... This isn't even the worst spot. I can't get that, over, wrap that around my head. Like, there is no way this is not the worst spot. This damage here is just so, it's so bad. I, 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 I can't see it getting any worse than this, but it did. Wow. I mean, the trees are just arcing over me. Well, I'll keep walking a little further and then I'm gonna head back. And we're gonna go check out some of the more damaged areas. It's just complete devastation. This is near peak intensity here of the storm probably. At this point there was between 80 and 90 mile per hour winds. You know, you got plenty of wood to grill some hot dogs. This was the storm at maximum intensity. And here
here we were talking 90 plus mile per hour winds and it took down an entire plot of red pines here. This used to be uh, all red pines. I'll show you a Googleite satellite imagery. There you wouldn't be able to see those clouds over there to my south. You'd just be seeing red pines. And now they're all gone. The amount of area that this uh, the ratio swallowed was just, uh, it's just completely nuts. Like, it, it, this entire area, 50 square miles around me is just, it's just done. This is another area ahead of me. All used to be red pine. It's all gone now. A couple left standing, but oh my gosh, that is just absolutely wild. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Not really in the proper attire to be going off trail too much, but I wanna try and get on one of the couple of these and see. Gosh. Here's the best aerial view I can get for you guys. That is absolutely crazy. I do not believe I'm seeing this. Okay, I better be careful because if I fall here, I'd be surely in trouble. I mean, I, I just can't believe this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get down before I fall down. Oh my God. It's just everywhere. This is like, like EF2, EF3 tornado damage here. All right, I should try and get back on trail. All right, folks, this is where the journey ends. Mother Nature does not want me to go past here. So, I'm gonna think I'm gonna turn around here and we might go up uh, the highway a little bit more. There might be some areas hit a little stronger than this, believe it or not, which, hard to believe that something can be hit harder than this. I mean, for just winds? Are you kidding me? This is absolutely crazy. But I'm gonna head back to the car and uh, get a plan ready. So that's what we were just uh, just looking at. Everything's gone. Absolutely everything. also gone in there. This was not a tornado. It was not a tornado, guys.